On December 17, 1903, an aircraft thrust into the skies and became the first aircraft in the human history. Wright brothers became its inventors. We all greatly adore them today and we teach this fact to our children in schools. But to our surprise, the truth seems to be different. Eight years before Wright Brothers' aerial show, in the year 1895, at Chaupati Beach in Bombay, an aircraft flew into the skies up to 1500 feet when large Indian audience watched this feat. And this performance happened in the presence of His Highness Maharaja of Baroda, Sri Saya Ji Rao Gaikwad, and Honorable Judge Mahadev Govind Ranade. This event was covered and published by the then popular newspaper Kesari, which was also published from Pune. The inventor of that aircraft was an ordinary Sanskrit scholar named Shivkumar Bapuji Talpadi. This aircraft had been built on the technology mentioned in the Sanskrit text written by Bharatvaja called Yantra Sarvasvam. The then British government, after strictly warning the Baroda Maharaj not to fund the project, stalled this experiment. It seems that the experimental remnants of the plane and various working plans had been taken over by the British government. Did our ancestors have much knowledge about aircrafts? If so, what happened to all that? Why such an advanced knowledge had been kept as a secret? What is the Vaimanika Shastra of Bharatvaja? What are its contents? Whether modern scientists did any research on these contents? If so, what are their findings in this regard? For almost 20 years, many scientists at the Aeronautical Society of India, NASA, professors and students of many prominent universities of the world were doing research in their own way on this Vaimanika Shastra of Bharatvaja. They were able to appreciate the advanced level of knowledge about aeronautics in this book. But much of the research findings are not being revealed to public. Bodhanananda, a scholar, had written a commentary and explanations to Vaimanika Shastra of Bharatvaja. Another scholar called Subbarai Sharma of Mysore had composed a text on aeronautics on Bharatvaja's Vaimanika Shastra. This book was translated and published by Sir Joyser in English. Bharatvaja's Vimana Shastra contains of eight main chapters, 100 Adhikarnas or sub-chapters, 500 sutras, 3000 slokas and 32 aeronautical secrets. In this text, there are references to about 25 existing texts related to aeronautics and drawings done in 1923 from Vimana texts. Among the referred books, we find Shakti Sutram of Agastya, Saudamini Kala written by scholar named Ishvara, Vayu Tattva Prakarana of Sakatayana, Vyasanala Tantra and Dhuma Parikraman written by Narada, Vasarayana Tantra of Saunaka, Vimana Chandrika written by Narayana Maharshi, Gargas Yantrakalpika and Yana Bindu written by Vachaspati. The above texts were referred to by Bharatvaja to define Vimanas, types of Vimanas that were available in various Yugas, qualification of pilots, dress code of pilots and travelers, food to be consumed while flying, various machines of Vimanas, fuels that are suitable to fly Vimanas, metals and their treatment for building a Vimana, the situations that the pilot had to encounter in the air on flight and the ways and means of overcoming them. According to Narayana Maharshi, the Vimana had been defined as a vehicle that travels on land and water and can fly like a bird in the sky. Referring to Paunaka Mahamuni, Sage Bharatvaja says, a vehicle that travels in the sky from one place to another is called a Vimana. Bharatvaja had dealt four types of fuels that can be used by Vimanas. They are Vanaspati oil, mercury gas, solar energy, directly consuming power from the air. The modern aircrafts are run by burning hot gases. But recently, scientists at NASA had experimented with the techniques of using mercury as mentioned in Vimana Shastra texts of India and designed mercury vortex engines successfully. They adopted the technology mentioned in Samaragana Sutra Dhara written by King Bhoja and translated by William Chaldron into English. There are 31 types of machines mentioned in Vimana Shastra. Vishva Kriya Darpanam This is an effective mirror device which shows the pilot the surroundings around the aircraft. Mercury and mica are used in preparation. Parivasha Kriya Yantram It is a self-propelling device that operates the aircraft. 
Tamo Garba Yantra. During aerial flights, this device hides the aircrafts from being viewed. A kind of stealth technology, a special alloy called Tamo Garba, was used in this device. The Vimana text mentions the 32 secrets that a pilot should know. The pilot should have expert knowledge. They are like propelling the flight into the sky, halting the flight in the sky, making suitable somersaults, and driving the flight in zigzag way, suddenly increasing the speed and reducing the speed within the shortest possible time. Techniques of protecting the flight when attacked by enemy aircraft during aerial flights. During Satya Yuga and Trita Yuga, Vimanas were called and classified as Manteka Vimanas. There were 25 types. They used to work with physical and mystical powers. During Vapar Yuga, Vimanas were categorized as Tantrika type. During Kali Yuga, the Vimanas have been named as Kritika type. There are 25 varieties of this kind, which are run by machines. Indian Puranas have many references to Vimanas. Rakshasas called Tripurasuras had aerial cities, which used to fly in air and travel on earth and water. When they were torturing people, Lord Shiva eliminated them. In Ramayana, Sage Valmiki had wonderfully described Pushpaka Vimana, an aerial city that can move. In Bhagavatam, there is a mention about aerial attack by Shishupala's friend Salva on Krishna's Dwaraka. His space vehicle was called Saubha and made of iron. It has a technique of appearing and disappearing in the sky after an attack. It can thrust out many aircraft from itself. For not just an aircraft or Vimana, it can be called an aerial city. Lord Krishna, after waging a fierce battle, destroyed the space vehicle. Vyasa, the writer of Bhagavatam, goes at length to explain the power and functions of ace vehicle used by Salva against Krishna. In the same text Bhagavatam, Kapila's parents, Sej Kaparta and Devahuti, go for an interstellar travel in Vimana. While discussing administrative principles, Kautilya's Ardhashastra refers to the importance and due recognition and respect that had to be given to pilots by the government. Kautilya called the pilots as Saubhikas and the persons who were involved in alien battles called Akasha Yodas.